sorry, I'm just sorting out the angle. I've just changed the angle of my um, camera just to see if I can get better shots. Um, as somebody said in my glue video, they couldn't see too well, so I've just lifted the tripod up a bit and hopefully you'll be able to see better and I thought as I've got the camera out I would do another video and then I'm not too bad then try and do a couple at a time and then I should have a little batch to upload and yeah not be rushing around so much so for this week's card making I'm doing A5 cards using the hunky dory kit oops sorry I'm just going to move you a bit and let's make sure I'm still in frame. Oops, sorry, don't want to make you feel sick. That's better. And I've got some bling in front of me, so I will have to stretch across and get things. Actually, if I move them now, that might be better. So, yeah, just some simple little cards this week. Um, just A5 ones. As like I've said before, I'm trying to keep um, keep it a bit different so it's not just hunky-dory or it's not just this. And I'm still building up my craft supplies as I've mentioned before. A couple of times I've had really bad depression and just got rid of a load of stuff. And I'm learning not to do that now. And the insert matches that. So that's quite sweet. Um... Yeah, so I'm trying to get in a better habit of just putting stuff to one side. And if I don't use it for a while, it's not drastic, rather than just going, oh, I'll get rid of it all. I don't do a very good tr job trimming this, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm just using, like, the whole card as the base, rather than cutting bits down and doing smaller cards. I thought I would do some A5 ones this time. And this one says, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's right, my camera keeps making funny sounds, so I'm just going to make sure I am. Yep, we're still filming. Yeah, it just keeps making little sounds. So this says, it's a like little word strip, and it says, congratulations on your bundle of joy. So I thought I would have that going there. Um, yep, yeah, that there. I think that's what I was going to do. I prep, like I said, I do prep stuff in advance. And then, yeah, I think that's what I was going to do. Or was I going to do something? No, I like that. And then I think I'll do that, yeah. And then I've got a little message to go inside which says, Welcome, baby. Yeah, I haven't done this for a while where I... Normally I just do one video and that's it, but I'm trying to get in the habit of doing a couple in one go. And then, like I said, hopefully I'll have a little batch of videos ready and I won't be um, going, oh heck, I need to do a video today when it's a day that I might not feel like doing one. Like, I wanted to do a video Sunday and I just did not feel up to it at all. So... Uh, so I'm trying to get that all on there. I don't think. I don't know. I'm trying to get it on. Congratulations on your bundle of joy. Oops, and I missed, I missed the tape. That wasn't my best plan. Oops. Might have to use the other end, I think, now. Because I made the other end of it. Wrinkly. I couldn't actually see where the tape was. Right, okay. Scissors. And then the back's also patterned because, like I said, I just folded them in half. Oh, I like this top, but the sleeves keep rolling up. And then I'm just going to pop that there. So there's a little boy one. And yes, there will be a little girl one in a minute. But I've had a lovely, like I said, yes, Sunday just wasn't up for anything. I'm filming this on Monday, but I don't know when it'll go up. Uh, yeah, so it's lovely Sunday, just sitting quietly doing my crochet with the telly on. I'm watching the birds play. I found a new series on, 
it's not Netflix, it's on Talk Talk, and it's their extra package, and it's Hoarders, it's the American version. Oh, I know it's an illness, but some of the people just drive me nutty. <laughs> And I thought, I like stuff. It makes, it's like, oh, my home's not that bad. But no, I do feel sorry for them because it is like an illness. But, um, yes, yeah, so I've been watching that because I don't have to concentrate too much. So I put that little image there. And I don't know, I might add some of these yellowy, because even though it's for a baby boy, I can't see why they can't have a bit of bling. It's not like the baby's going to be playing with it, is it? It's more for the parents, so I will pop that. Oops. Come on, I want you right on the corner. Sometimes I use my pokey tool for this, but I find sometimes it's more of a hassle. Oh yeah, I like that. It just finishes it off. So that's the little, that's the baby boy card. And now on to the baby girl card. Actually, for this bit of the kit for the little girl there wasn't that um much the boy part had loads of um messages and then I've used the same insert and this is the card so you've got the little bow and then the baby on the back so I could have broken it down and made a few more cards but I just thought I'll just do some simple ones Sometimes it's just nice to go simple. And I think that's another thing I like about Hunky Dory. You can break it down and do a really fancy card. Or you can do something like this a lot more simple. Especially, like, I want to sell mine. So I don't want to do a whole load of fancy ones. It's nice to have a selection for people. I, oh, I didn't do a good job there. I'll trim that. Obviously, I didn't do very well when I cut this out. And I already have an idea for next week's card making. Yep, I'm already thinking of that. I'm getting ideas in the night and stuff, and it's like, no, you should be sleeping. And then that's the topper for that one. And it has got two parts. I don't know if you can yeah, see that. But I want to keep it as a whole. So I'm just going to put... Actually, I might do this one with foam pads, I think, because it's quite a simple card. Sorry, I just got to get my other scissors. So I must remember to put in the washing in. Mind you, if I left it out there, it's not too bad, because it should be nice tomorrow as well. Sorry, it's my scissors rattling. Oh, this is not. I haven't used this tape yet. It's one that I got off eBay and it's peeling nicely. So I'm going to just pop that there. And then I've got my little message saying it's a girl. I was going to put it in the middle of the bow, but I think I might put some bling there. So... I might just pop that. Decisions. Uh, I think I'm going to pop that down there. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's going to go there. They didn't have a message to go inside. And then I'm going to use, if I can get to it, one of my pearls to go in the middle. Of that and I think I'm going to colour it with uh, um, Spectrum Noir and I'm using Old Rose which is AP2. Yeah I'm going to colour the pearl I think. Sorry this is going to squeak. I just want to give it a hint of colour because sorry if my head's getting in the way. It's a very pale pink but I just want to give the Pearl, a bit of colour. Sorry, I'm going to have to turn this around a bit. So it's just giving it a slight pinky tinge. And you can build the colour up with these. Oops, I slipped a bit. 
normally I'd colour this off but as it was a not a thought beforehand. Right, so I've just added a slight pinky tone to that. You probably won't notice it on camera, but it has got a slight pinky tone. So I've got the little girl's card. And then I've got, I think, yeah, anniversary sort of wedding cards now. So they, yeah, you done it in reverse. I've done the babies first, then, <laughs> then the wedding stuff. Right, so I've got my messages and I'm going to put the insert in. So this matches the tone. So that's the like, front and then the back is just a plain pink. I have to say this is a nice kit, the um, special moments one. I don't know if I'd get it again because um, we're not for quite a while. I'd get a different thing. And Hunky Dory have just released a really nice kit and I'm really tempted but I mustn't. Called True Blue and I really like bluey purpley tones and it's really pretty. It's very elegant. So that's on my wish list. Right, will this card behave so I can stick this in? So... Oh, wonky handies. I know I've trimmed this down. Sorry, my shirt is really bugging me. I won't wear this again when I'm filming, I think. Ah, oh, that's better. Right. Sorry if my head gets in the way, but this was super wonky. Oh, so I'm going to go there. It's still a little bit off, but that's probably my cutting out. Right, so yeah, let's get to the front. Yeah, sorry, my hands are shaking. My wrist is puffed up. So I'm going to pop that there. Oh, sorry, I should show you the image. It's a really pretty image. And then I also went for this one as well. So I think I'm going to pop... Oh, no, I was going to pop one of these. I was going to pop that inside as a little... That's what I was going to do. I was going to pop that inside as a little decoration inside. I knew I, there was something I was going to do with that. I will just make sure I wasn't going to use it for the other card. No, I wasn't. So, um, I've listed my um, Cricut Maker on eBay, so I'm hoping that a sell. I do, uh, there's nothing wrong with the Cricut Maker. It's just, it's not for me. I thought I was going to be doing a lot more with it. And I haven't used it for months and I haven't missed using it so I am going to sell it I am um, yeah I'm I can do like YouTube and Facebook and all that but I'm not much of a techie person so um it's it's not difficult to use it's just not right for me so that is on my eBay so I hope that sells and brings me some pennies because what I want I would love to do eventually it's a little way off. I'd like to get the Gemini Crafters Companion Machine because it's A4 but the plates are a lot thinner and I think my wrist and everything will be able to cope better but I can't do anything at the moment and I want to get my puppy first so that is my priority. So I'm going to just put that there and then the message I chose for this one was happy anniversary. You might not be able to read it but I will just bring it up and I'm going to pop I'm going to pop that there in fact I might use a little bit of foam tape for this little bit I think uh, yeah, I'm going to pop that there and then I'm going to add I'm going to use the thinner pearls I think How am I doing time-wise? Oh, I'm fine. I'm going to use, use these thinner pearls. If they behave. Uh, yeah. Because there's a little line here and I thought, I'm getting blinking glitter that I used weeks ago. Still finding that on this little border just to give it something. You know, an anniversary card. 
you know, if it's a man sending it to a lady or a lady sending it to a lady. Then it, I think you should go out a bit. <laughs> you know, it's an anniversary. It should be celebrated. Sorry, I'm concentrating them to try and get these as straight as possible with my shaky wrist. I'm just trying to think what else I've watched on telly. Um, so I've been watching Hoarders. Started watching that. And then there's a few things I have watched again and again, like some Star Wars stuff and some films that I've seen a few times, like The King Arthur with um, Charlie Hunnam in it. Got to get a bit of um, cat eye candy now and then. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been doing, just watching telly, YouTube, doing the general chores around the home. Nothing of great excitement. And I'm not sure, this weekend we might tackle, because my parents want to put some stuff in my garage. So, you know, we'll be giving that a little tidy up and sort out. Let's put that there so I don't prick myself. So that is the anniversary card. And I think just adding the pearls just sort of finished it off. It just gave it something a bit more. And then we have this one, which is on your engagement. So I thought that was quite sweet. So we've got this card and then it's got the glasses on the front. I wish that was on, I mean, they're on the back. I wish they were on the front. And then we've got the insert that matches and, and I've got the roses and the roses with the wine glass and some messages that I'll put inside and some outside. Uh, I always do the insert first because you can guarantee I'll forget it and it'd be like, oh, what did I do with that? Well, there it is. <laughs> Or sometimes I've sold it without the insert, which isn't drastic because nobody would know but me. But it's like, oh, I think that was meant to be in that card. So that's why I try and make sure I do it first. So let me know if this camera angle is better for you and I will try to remember to do it in future. If it's not, I will try something else. But I really... Like I said, I can't, um, said in my glue video, I can't do over the head because that doesn't work like that. And I don't want to be putting something heavy on the wall because I rent. So I'm trying not to put too much stuff on the walls. Um, so yeah, I hope this angle is okay. Let's just fold that down. So what is yeah, I Scent with love always, I think I'm going to put inside. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, so it's just one of those little round ones. And I thought that inside will be quite sweet. So that's the inside. And now to do the outside. So I've got this image. And I'm going to pop that down there and that there, I think. Yeah, congratulations on your engagement. Yep, I like that. It's probably different, like I said, different to how I planned it, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, um, if you're new to my channel, I always prep the cards beforehand. I put them in the envelope and like all the bits are cut for it. So if I've got like mats and layers and stuff it just makes it easier otherwise I probably would only get one card done whereas this way at least I do get four done so so that was going to go about there and the, I love these roses they're so pretty actually my roses are coming out and they look lovely and they smell so nice you could almost eat them. They smell really nice. So. 
got a broken nail at the moment, so it's a pain trying to pull these things off. So oh, there's a little burr on there. I don't want that. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to pop that down there, and then yeah, I think I'm going to put this on with tape, foam tape. It's off there, and I'm going to pop. Or do I pop it there? Decisions now. Now I think I'm going to go this side. Yep. Congratulations on your engagement. So we've got that card. So I hope you enjoyed this week's card making. And I will see you all soon with something else. <laughs> so take care everyone. See you all soon. Bye.